What if we only had three hours before an asteroid impact? Imagine a near-Earth object, a small asteroid suddenly detected and confirmed to be on an imminent collision course with our planet. It's a chilling scenario, isn't it? This isn't just some plot of a science fiction movie. The reality is, our solar system is a busy place, filled with over a million known asteroids and possibly many more undiscovered. While most of these space rocks inhabit the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter, some do stray close to Earth. Consider the hypothetical asteroid 2021 PDC from a recent NASA exercise. It was a simulated scenario, sure, but it revealed a sobering truth, even with a six-month warning, we couldn't stop it. Now what if we only had three hours? The impact of such an asteroid, depending on its size and speed, could range from a minor explosion in the atmosphere to a catastrophic event causing massive devastation. Remember the Tunguska event in 1908? An asteroid exploded over Siberia with the energy of a thousand Hiroshima bombs. It flattened over 80 million trees across 2,000 square kilometers. But luckily the area was sparsely populated. What if the next one hits a populated area? Three hours is not a lot of time to evacuate millions or even thousands of people. And the clock starts ticking now, three hours to impact. With three hours to impact, the first hour is about the discovery. This is the moment when our eyes in the sky, the vigilant observatories and space agencies across the globe, detect an anomaly. Small, fast, and on a collision course with Earth, an asteroid has slipped through the cosmic net. The discovery is made by one of many observatories that dot the globe. These outposts are our first line of defense, scanning the skies round the clock. They are our sentinels against the silent threats lurking in the depths of space. Once detected, the data is quickly shared with space agencies worldwide. NASA, the European Space Agency and others begin to verify and cross-check the findings. The asteroid's size, speed and trajectory are calculated and recalculated, leaving no room for error. Initial reactions are a mix of disbelief and urgency. This is the scenario everyone has trained for but hoped would never come. And yet, it has. Now, the world's leading scientists and disaster response teams kick into high gear. Even as the news begins to trickle out, a sense of unease starts to ripple across the globe. This is no longer a drill or a tabletop exercise, this is real. A small asteroid is on a collision course with Earth. As the first hour draws to a close, the reality of the situation begins to sink in. Two hours to impact, and the world knows about the threat. Two hours to impact, and it's about the response. In a situation like this, there are several potential measures that could be taken, each requiring lightning-fast action and clear-headed decision-making. Emergency procedures would be initiated, focusing on alerting the public and preparing them for the potential impact. This could include the rapid dissemination of information, advising people on what to do and where to go. Evacuation plans would be put into motion where possible. Depending on the projected impact site, entire cities, even countries could be mobilized in a mass exodus, seeking safety in areas out of the asteroid's path. This would be a colossal undertaking requiring a level of international cooperation and coordination never before seen in human history. Meanwhile, as the ground teams work on managing the situation on Earth, space agencies would be considering last-ditch efforts to deflect the asteroid. Although our current technology may not guarantee success in such a short window, every potential option would be on the table. It could be a rapid-response spacecraft launch, a technique previously recommended for such situations. These missions could be deployed within days or even hours, racing against the clock to potentially alter the asteroid's course. International cooperation would be vital in this response. It would not just be about sharing resources and information, but also about standing together in the face of a common threat. Countries would need to put aside their differences, working together for the survival of humanity. The role of international organizations would be pivotal in coordinating these efforts. They would work tirelessly to ensure that every country, every individual, understands the gravity of the situation and knows what to do to maximize their chances of survival. The disaster response would be about more than just survival. It would be about the resilience and unity of the human race. It would be a testament to our ability to come together in times of crisis, to face the unthinkable with courage and determination. One hour to impact and humanity braces for the worst. One hour to impact and it's about the final moments. As the clock ticks down, the world stands in a collective breath-holding anticipation. In this final hour, humanity faces the imminent collision, a small asteroid hurtling towards our home planet. In cities, towns and villages around the globe, people gather. 
They huddle around screens watching the countdown, their hearts beating in rhythm with the ticking seconds. In homes, families gather closer, holding each other tight. In places of worship, people seek solace, their prayers echoing in the silence. In the bustling city streets time seems to stand still. The usual cacophony is replaced by a quiet hum, a stark contrast to the chaos of everyday life. Businesses close their doors, cars remain parked, and the world, for a moment, pauses. In this hour, humanity is united, not by joy or celebration, but by a shared sense of uncertainty, fear, and hope. Despite the impending disaster, there is a strange sense of solidarity, a shared understanding that we are all in this together. Meanwhile, scientists and engineers work tirelessly, their eyes glued to computer screens, their minds racing with calculations and projections. They are the unsung heroes, working against the clock to collect as much data as possible, hoping to learn from this event to better protect our planet in the future. As we approach the final minutes, a sense of resignation settles in. The asteroid, once a distant speck in our telescopes, is now a looming presence in our sky. Its impact will be felt worldwide, its aftermath potentially catastrophic. The potential loss of life, the destruction of habitats, and the impact on our environment are unimaginable. Yet even in the face of catastrophe there is a flicker of hope. Humanity's resilience shines brightest in the darkest hours. We have faced challenges before and each time we have emerged stronger, more united. This event, while daunting, is another testament to our collective strength and determination. Impact, the moment of truth arrives. The world watches, hearts and throats, as the sky lights up, a silent acknowledgement of our shared fate. This is not the end, but a new beginning, a chance for humanity to rise from the ashes, stronger and more determined than ever. The aftermath, what happens next? In the immediate wake of an asteroid impact there would be chaos and uncertainty, a world rocked by the collision. The size and location of the impact would dictate the extent of immediate destruction. Cities could be leveled, forests set ablaze, and tsunamis could be triggered, causing further devastation along coastlines. But the effects would not be confined to the impact zone. Dust and debris could be thrown into the atmosphere, blocking out sunlight and leading to a nuclear winter scenario. This could cause global temperatures to plummet, with potentially devastating effects on agriculture and food supply. The social implications would be profound, millions could be displaced, leading to a refugee crisis on a scale never before seen. Governments would be tested to their limits and international cooperation would become more critical than ever. Politically the asteroid impact could serve as a wake-up call, highlighting our collective vulnerability and the importance of investing in space science and defense. It could lead to new international treaties and collaborations, and a renewed focus on protecting our planet. In the long term, the recovery would be slow and fraught with challenges. It could take years, even decades to rebuild and recover. But in the face of such adversity, perhaps we would also see the best of humanity, resilience, innovation, and a shared determination to rebuild and protect our shared home. And so, we are left with a sobering thought. What if we only had three hours before an asteroid impact? How would we respond and what would the world look like afterwards?